Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials and we are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to learn about Angular pipes. What are Angular pipes, how to use them, what is the syntax, how to write them. So we will learn all about it in today's episode. My name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. And I'm here to share my knowledge on modern front-end technologies as well as back-end technologies. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of the tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm bringing out, I'm trying to bear, put together the best Angular 9 full tutorial series. So if you have not yet checked out the full tutorial series, I, I humbly request you to kindly do so, uh, so that you don't miss out on the important concepts and knowledge. Since I'm putting in a lot of hard work, I request you to please support me by liking the video and by subscribing to my channel. Thank you in advance. So far in the tutorial series, we have covered around 20 uh, tutorials where we have started from Angular basics to how to upgrade, to how to install, uh, modules, decorators, CLI, components. We have also seen directives, data binding concepts like interpolation, property binding, attribute binding, event binding. Today's episode, we will learn about pipes. What are Angular pipes? How to use them? Let's get started. So what are Angular pipes? So in Angular, pipes are used to transform the data. When, you, when I say transform the data, it means we will provide a set of values, which is data input, and it will get converted or transformed into a desired format. There are different formats that we can do in terms of transforming the data. Like you can convert it to uppercase, lowercase, we can use currency, we can use date, we can use JSON pipe. Pipes in Angular are written using the pipe operator, the one that is displayed here. You can see it. this is the pipe operator that is used in your template. We can apply pipes to any and every view or template data, right? So you can use any number of pipes in the application. You can use it with any uh, data that you want to display or transform. So there are different types of pipes that are available. There are a few built-in pipes, like for example, lowercase, uppercase, currency, date, JSON. These are all built-in pipes which allow us to do a lot of things quickly. We don't have to spend time building up those pipes. There is also parameterized pipes, which means they will take some parameters. Uh, usually the pipe, when you when we define, it can take, it, 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 it has some default values, but we can also override them by passing some values or parameters. Those are called parameterized pipes. We can also use multiple pipes together to a, on a data input. That, that process, the technology or that technique is called as chaining pipes. Why chain? Because we are adding multiple pipes to a data for input and the output will be transformed accordingly. We can also extend this behavior into creating custom pipes, which means we can create a pipe of our own specific to our application. A good examples of modern pipes are telephone number formatting. It can be some real time search where you want to highlight something. You want to transform the HTML into a better one like highlighting or underline, making it bold, matching results. So these are some of the examples of custom pipes. We will learn all about it in detail. We will do some hands on practicals to learn about it, but understand the basics, understand the concepts, and ask me if you have any doubts, I will be happy to help you. All right, so that 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 is all about I want to cover in today's quick introductory tutorial uh, about what are pipes and what are the different types of pipes. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you hands on how to use each of the built in pipe that we learned, which is basically currency, lowercase, uppercase, JSON, date, etc. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, which is on built-in pipes. 
Thank you so much.